So go ahead and introduce yourself and, and your name and title and what you do. Okay, my name is Elizabeth Barnes and um, I am the Senior Director for Adult and Senior Services for Easter Shields, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Wonderful. And what would you say is uh, one of the main reasons why you come to the NADSA conference? Uh, so this is my second NASA um, conference. Last year was in Baltimore, and I really love the collaboration and the idea right. that we're all in this um, together. Right. You know, it's not like Maryland's just a little isolated, you know, um, state doing things. There's more um, people out there doing this. There, <laughs> there are, and I think it's also we don't have all the right answers. Sure. So I think that you know our experiences overlap, um, and we're able to kind of um, share, compare notes, kind of go back to where we are and see if that works for us. Um, and I like the fact that this is kind of a team approach. Sure, absolutely. What would you say is like one of the biggest challenges that uh, is facing adult day services? So funding, I'm sure that other people said that too. Funding is always a big one. I think also the educational piece. Um, still, at least uh, in Maryland, um, ADS is not known. Right. A lot of people know exactly about assisted living, it's all about nursing homes, long-term care, rehab, um, but we're still kind of like, I think, on the peripheral. And once we start educating a few people, then it turns over and they go away. Right. So if we're able to make more of a you know, um, comprehensive overall sure. approach, I think it'll sure. be great. Absolutely. What would you say is like your vision for the future of adult day services? Uh, I, I would like to continue to break down, I guess, silos even amongst ourselves and be able to really you know, appreciate and embrace the fact that we're all in this together. Um, learn from one another and um, be able to support legislatively. I think that's a huge thing, especially at the national level. Um, with future trends, we have, you know, I guess what's called the silver tsunami. There's right. going to be more people who are aging and needing services than there are going to be younger folks and younger generations. So I think uh, it's important and we need to kind of look towards the future and kind of be proactive instead of, oh my gosh, what are we going to do now? So. <laughs> right. We're, we're usually good at that. You know? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's, fan that's fantastic. Um, any, uh, I guess, what do you love most? Uh, like, what do you, what do you find to be most, most rewarding about uh, adult day services? Oh, it's a tough one. Um, through my career, I've, you know, I've served a lot of vulnerable populations, and um, kind of seeing the lifetime continuum is pretty incredible. Right. Um, and I'm also a personal caregiver as well. So being able to see that with my mother and everything and then also translate it to the field of work, it kind of makes me more passionate about sure. it. Um, and I think that I really like the fact that other um, industries as well that may be kind of related to other vulnerable populations are we're kind of seeing them more interspersed amongst us. And so we're able to serve more people. And I think that as long as we can meet that community need, I think it's great. Awesome. Wonderful. Well, thank you for coming today. Sure. Thank Appreciate you for having it. me.